In today's video, I'm going to show you several ways to create a local or offline account when setting up Windows 11. Microsoft has made it increasingly difficult to complete the Windows 11 setup without signing in with a Microsoft account, and they've also stated that some Microsoft account bypass methods may be removed in future versions of Windows. We've already seen this being tested with Insider and Developer Builds. I'm recording this video in December of 2025, and all of the methods shown here are confirmed working on Windows 11 version 25H2. The first method uses a single command to directly open a local account creation window during the setup. On the first screen of the window setup where you choose your country, press Shift and F10 on your keyboard to open command prompt. On some laptops, you may need to press Shift, Fn, and F10. Click inside the command prompt window and type start space ms dash cxh colon local only. Then hit enter on your keyboard. A window will appear asking who's going to use this PC. Enter a username and optionally set a password, then click next. If you choose to set a password, you'll be asked to create some security questions to recover the account if you forget the password. Once you click next, Windows will then create your local account, and then you'll be prompted to answer the standard privacy questions. Choose no for all of them, then Windows will take you straight to the desktop of your local account. The second method uses the OOBE backslash bypass NRO command which is the original Windows 11 Microsoft Account Bypass. Although Microsoft has removed this from some Insider and Developer builds, it still works in the current release version of Windows 11 25H2. Back on the first screen of the Windows setup, start by making sure that your PC is completely disconnected from the internet by unplugging Ethernet, using airplane mode, or disabling Wi-Fi. If you connect to the internet using Wi-Fi, and you're on the first screen of the setup and haven't chosen a Wi-Fi network yet, you should be good to go. Once offline, press Shift and F10 on your keyboard, and in command prompt, type OOBE backslash bypass NRO, and press enter. The system will restart, and you'll be brought back to the Windows setup. From here, continue through the setup as normal. Then when asked to choose a network, Select I don't have internet in the bottom right corner. Afterwards, you'll be prompted to enter a username for your local account and password. You can leave the password field blank for no password. Like before, if you enter a password, you'll be asked to answer some security questions. Answer no to all of the privacy questions and Windows will begin to create your local account. When it's done, you'll be brought to the desktop. At this point, our local account has been successfully created and you're safe to connect back to the internet. If Microsoft removes the bypass and row command entirely, the same bypass can still be enabled manually through the registry. Make sure you're still offline and disconnected from the internet, then press Shift and F10 once again to open command prompt. Then type regedit and hit enter to open it. Navigate to HKey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, and OOBE. Make sure OOBE is highlighted, and in the white space right click and create a new DWORD 32-bit value. Name it Bypass NRO. Make sure to type it exactly as I have it here. Double click on it and set its value to 1. Click OK. Then close regedit. Now restart your PC from command prompt with the shutdown forward slash R forward slash T0 command. Once rebooted, continue with the setup. You'll again be able to choose I don't have internet and create a local account as I showed before.
The next method is built directly into Windows 11, but only works on the Pro Edition. Go through the setup normally, and when asked how you'd like to set up this device, choose Setup for Work or School. When prompted for a Work or School email, click Sign in Options, and select Domain Join instead. You'll then be prompted to create a local username and optional password. Answer no to the privacy questions. Then after the setup and updates complete, which in my case took a very long time, you'll be taken to the desktop with a fully functional local account. From here, Windows never actually asks you to join a domain. Another easy to set up method is using Rufus to create a customized Windows 11 bootable USB. First, download the Windows 11 ISO from Microsoft and then Rufus. Insert an 8GB or larger USB drive and open up Rufus. Select your USB under the device dropdown, then click select and browse your PC for the Windows 11 ISO you just downloaded. Leave all the other settings default and click start. When prompted, enable the option to remove the Microsoft account requirement and choose to create a local account, entering the username that you want. Rufus can also bypass the Windows 11 hardware requirements if your computer is unsupported. Click OK and OK again on the data loss warning. Once Rufus finishes creating the bootable USB, it will show a status of ready. Plug the bootable USB into the computer where you want to install Windows 11, then power it on. As the system starts, press the key on your keyboard that opens up the boot menu. This key varies depending on your computer's manufacturer. When the boot menu appears, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to select your USB flash drive and press enter. The system will then boot into the Windows 11 installer. Now install Windows as you normally would. After the installation completes, continue through the initial setup by selecting your country and keyboard layout. If the system isn't already connected to Ethernet, you'll be prompted to connect to Wi-Fi. Then once the setup finishes and the PC restarts, Windows will automatically send you in to the local account that you configured in Rufus and take you straight to the desktop. The final method creates a local account entirely from command prompt during the setup. It would be difficult for Microsoft to patch this because it relies on standard Windows commands. I learned these steps from the Grumpy Sysadmins video, so I'll link that in the description below if you want to check out his video. Starting on the first Windows setup screen, press Shift and F10 to open command prompt. Begin by creating the local user account by entering the commands net user the username for your local account surrounded by double quotes, space, asterisk, space, forward slash add. Then enter a password if desired or leave it blank for no password on your local account. Next, we need to add the account to the local administrators group by running net local group administrators, your username surrounded by double quotes, forward slash add. After that, enable the account and ensure it never expires by entering the command net user, your username surrounded by double quotes, forward slash active, colon yes, followed by net user, your username surrounded by double quotes, forward slash expires, colon never. Because this method does not automatically disable the built in administrator's account, you must do so manually by running net user administrator surrounded by double quotes forward slash active colon no. You should also remove the temporary setup account created by Windows using the command net user default user zero surrounded by double quotes forward slash delete. To confirm that everything looks correct, you can run the net user command and verify that your account appears and that default user 0 is no longer listed. Next, we need to edit the registry. Open regedit by typing regedit in command prompt and hitting enter on your keyboard. Once regedit is opened, 
navigate to HK local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, then OOBE. Make sure OOBE is highlighted. And on the right hand side, delete the values, default account action, default account SAM name, and default account SID if they exist. These values track the temporary setup account, default user 0, in OOBE. And deleting them tells Windows it's no longer needed, so your local account becomes primary. Right click, launch user OOBE, and rename it to skip machine OOBE, making sure to match the capitalization exactly as shown. Double click on the value to open it, then set it to 1 if it's not already set. Click OK and close regedit. Now restart the system from command prompt using the shutdown forward slash r forward slash t zero command. After the restart, Windows will bypass the remaining setup screens and boot directly into the local account you created. If you set a password for your local account, you may see an error saying that the password is incorrect. Just click OK and enter your password on the login screen. Once Windows finishes loading your profile, answer no to all of these standard privacy questions. You'll then be taken to the desktop of your local account. And that concludes today's video on creating a local account during the Windows 11 setup. I hope these methods were helpful and continue to work in future builds of Windows. If you have any questions or know of any other ways to bypass the Microsoft account requirement, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching.